Tara, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your May 2017 mid-month tarot reading. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising signs. So Libra, this is a reading that is focusing on the last uh, couple of weeks of May. And um, please join me over on Vimeo, uh, Libra, because I'm now offering love and relationship focused readings on Vimeo. So if you would like more insight into a relationship or what's going on in your love life, please don't join me over there. All right. And I will have the link listed below in the description bar. And if you're interested in a private reading, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, Libra, I do have the chariot. So this is what I'm using as the overall energy for the last couple of weeks of May. So you do have the chariot, which is wonderful. So for some of you, it could be moving. You could be physically traveling. Um, for some Librans, you know, maybe you're buying a new car. Your vehicle could be very significant. Um, but the chariot is the ultimate victory card. You actually have a couple of cards of victory here in this spread, Libra. So this is really, really nice. Um... But for some of you right now, um, when I'm filming this, this is you in the driver's seat. So you're, you're just about ready to move forward. So maybe you're planning things out. You know, should I move in this direction? Should I move in that direction? But you're literally just about ready to move forward, Libra. Uh, right at the center, I have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Page of Cups. So for a small number of Librans, unfortunately, because I also have the Three of Swords here, there could have been some sort of loss, some sort of heartache. So maybe a relationship has come to an end, or maybe, you know, there are some Librans that you could have suffered some sort of loss, some sort of heartache. With the Five of Pentacles, you could feel abandoned. You could feel left out in the cold. This is um, a five, so it is a more challenging energy. With the Five of Pentacles, it can be a down and out sort of energy. <sighs> But if something is getting you down right now, Libra, if something is really getting you down or you're losing faith when it comes to something in your life, because this can be a really pessimistic uh, sort of energy, just know that everything is gonna, going to work out. Like I just mentioned, you have two cards of victory here, okay? And coming up in the near future with the Ace of Swords here, this is victory after going down a very long road with lots of challenges. Now, maybe you're waiting on communication because with the Page of Cups in the challenge position, this could be what you're losing faith in regards to. Now, this also could be communication from maybe a water sign person, so a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that maybe you're waiting on and maybe you're losing faith, but don't lose faith. Don't lose, lose hope, Libra, because everything's going to work out. And I will use my Hanson Roberts Tower deck to just pull you some clarifiers here on this Five of Pentacles. I'm pulling three additional clarifying cards for Libra for this Five of Pentacles. So maybe some of you are waiting on news, waiting on communication. We have the Fool, the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, okay. So if this doesn't have to do with a water sign person, this might have something to do with an earth sign person because we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But also, you know, with this particular Knight, this is a slower moving energy. So for some of you, something is maybe developing, something is, is happening very slowly. Um, slow and steady here, but you are making progress. This is a knight who always reaches his goal. So you are making progress. You are going to be able to walk down this new path. With the fool, this is you taking some sort of risk or leap of faith and moving forward in a new direction. Very positive energy. And what's interesting is we have the seven of swords here. So both of these cards really represent like a risky sort of energy. So for some Librans, you know, this is you really wanting to take this risk, wanting to take this leap of faith. You know, some of you are maybe even trying to escape some sort of situation, 
something that's depressing, something that's getting you down. Um, but, you know, things are happening maybe very slowly here, but needing to keep the faith and needing to trust here because you will you will reach your goal you are going to be successful now at your foundation we have the king of swords which can be a more serious energy this could have been a this could have been a person around you that maybe was judging you in some way or you know this was you very serious very determined maybe some of you are feeling a lack financially and maybe this is like a financial opportunity or risk that you want to take. And this was you maybe very, very determined previously to move forward, to move towards this, this new beginning or down this new path. But for whatever reasons, things are happening very slowly and you're having to wait. On um, the more recent past, I have the Queen of Swords. So this is interesting. We have a couple here. We have the King and the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, maybe you're dealing with another ear sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And then for some other Librans, this could be your significant other. That was maybe very significant. Um, so maybe this is your partner who is maybe helping you. Um, or, you know, some of you, you know, you could have just went through some sort of separation or something like that with the Five of Pentacles. This can also be you feeling uh, left out in the cold in some way. So for some of you, you could have made a cut. You could have cut someone out of your life. Uh, and now maybe you're feeling all alone. Or, you know, this can go both ways. Someone could have, you know, cut you out of their life. And, and that's why, you know, we have this Three of Swords crowning you and then this Five of Pentacles here. Um, but clarity is coming in. Um, we have truth, we have clarity, we have communication. For some of you coming up in the near future, this is you speaking your truth. You could be telling someone how you feel. You could be telling someone where to go. For some of you, you're hurt. You're mentally exhausted and you're ready to move forward with your life. With the chariot here, you're, you're ready to move on. This is you maybe seeing something clearly, speaking your truth, moving forward, moving towards actually being more balanced in the position of your power of temperance. This is you moving towards being more balanced, your emotions really balancing out. This is a nice healing energy. It's a beautiful divine energy. So things within your life, Libra, could definitely be happening on divine time. So of course, you know, patience is required, but you know, this is some beautiful spiritual energy that's with you. You are protected. Some of you are definitely healing. So as you can see, this isn't an energy that you're going to be in for very long because we have clarity, we have communication that's coming in. For some of you, you're just, you know, cutting through any BS. Maybe you're just letting someone go. Maybe it's something you were thinking about previously. Now you're taking action. You're moving forward for some of you. It could be escaping some sort of situation or relationship here. Um, maybe there's an earth sign person that's significant. If not an earth sign, could be a Cancer, could be a Sagittarius here with temperance. And then in the position of how those around you are viewing you, I do have the Ten of Cups. So tens represent cycles that are completing. So this could be, you know, the end of a cycle for you. And then for some other Librans, this is you maybe spending more time with friends and family, with loved ones, and that really could be something that's really helpful for you here. You are healing, maybe making more time for friends and family. So this is really positive here. I like this, Libra, especially with the sun here as well. Now the sun is in the hopes and fears, um, but this is also another healing energy. And you know, with the energy that you're leaving the month with here, which is the Queen of Wands, I see a complete turnaround. Uh, this is you completely optimistic here. This could be definitely, for some of you, your health improving or you feeling energized, feeling way more optimistic here. You've seen things clearly. Things have come to light. Um, 
This is very, very positive. And I feel like this is you now maybe optimistically moving forward. You're moving into June with this really optimistic, upbeat energy uh, with the Queen of, of Wands. She's really, really optimistic. She's got a ton of energy. She's a multitasker. For some of you, you might have a lot going on. A lot of different projects um, but wands really represent action so taking action so for some of you this could be you manifesting maybe now you're you're actually moving down that path you're you're taking that that risk or that leap of faith you're moving forward um, for some of you, you could be traveling uh, to like a nice uh, sunny climate maybe you're going on vacation with your family for some other Librans, um, of course, there could be a Leo, there could be a Sagittarius or an Aries person around you that's significant. But for many of you, you know, I feel like this is your energy. Uh, it's like a complete 180 here. Um, and I really like to see this for you guys. Um, for some other Librans, you know, you might be in the spotlight in some way with the Sun and the Queen of Wands. You certainly could be in the spotlight in some way. So this could be, you know, within the workplace. Um... But yeah, but I just see many of you shining bright, very, very optimistic, moving forward, getting away from what whatever this energy was for you. Um, if this was someone mistreating you or something like that, um, that's okay because you're moving forward. You're going to be successful. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're starting over in some way. But let me pull you an additional guidance card, additional guidance for Libra. Wow. <laughs> All right, all right, we have a big, okay, we have four cards here, but they all landed upright, so, you know, I got to take a peek at all of them, Libra. Uh, so we do have spiritual growth, so for some of you, you're growing spiritually. You definitely could be more in touch with your intuition here, but some of you are definitely growing spiritually. Um, then we have abundance, beautiful, so we have abundance. So we have this five of pentacles here, right as I'm filming this, you're probably dealing with this energy Libra and some of you might be feeling this lack financially or feeling just, you know, this instability here. But I think that, you know, for those of you that are dealing with some financial difficulties, this is a nice confirmation that, you know, that abundance is coming in. So remain positive, continue on working hard. For some of you, you are going to be in the spotlight here towards the end of May. And that abundance is definitely going to come to you. There's, those rewards are going to come your way. Then we also have retreat and then we have children. So for some of you, this is you maybe needing to take some you time, needing to recharge your batteries, definitely needing to, to heal, to get more balanced here. So I feel like some of you are going to do that, but then because you're doing that, you're coming back recharged and energized here. And, you know, because you maybe took this break or took this you time, maybe went to the spa, whatever it is, whatever, you know, relaxes you, Libra, now you're coming back recharged and you have more energy for your children or for nieces or nephews. So this is really, really nice. So just make some you time, make some time for yourself. Um, don't worry about any money matters. That abundance is coming in and you're definitely growing spiritually. So maybe some of you are becoming more in touch with your intuition here coming up in, in the near future. So this is really positive, really, really positive. Um, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful. Again, if you're interested in finding out more about love and relationships, uh, please join me on Vimeo, and if you're interested in a private reading, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. I do wish you a great rest of the month of May. Take care.